Hey, what's up, guys? I'm PJ, and welcome to my vlog. Welcome to my vlog. Welcome to my vlog. Welcome to my vlog. It's PJ's vlog. Yeah. Today, I just want to talk about something real quick. I just want to talk about the idea of priorities versus sacrifice. So I own a 1996 Mazda Miata uh, M Edition. I've had the car for about three years now, a little bit over three years, I think. And I've owned five to six cars in the last six or seven years. And that's a lot of cars. I lost a lot of money. I learned a lot of things through my mistakes, just being dumb, being a guy who likes cars too much and just throwing around money. I didn't really have. So anyway, I have had this car the longest of all cars. And I've had a lot of like really useful cars, Honda Fit, Mazda Speed 3, uh, Golf TDI, all these like super useful hatchbacks. I have a pickup truck right now as well. And uh, yeah, of all the cars I've owned ever, this car, the most impractical car, has been the car that I've owned the longest. So it's pretty much my baby. It's actually my second Miata too, and uh, it, I like this one a lot better than the first one I had. It's, and this one's older. But yeah, anyway, uh, about a year or so ago, I decided that it might be time to list the Miata. You know, I, don't have, well, I wasn't using it that much at the time. I just bought my pickup truck which I plan to have for a long time because it's so useful um, and as we expand our family and move houses and stuff, uh, I think it's going to be really handy. I didn't drive the Miata throughout the whole winter and in the spring, this past spring, I uh, decided, you know, it might be time. It might be time to sell the Miata because I don't use it. As it got warmer and I, I was able to drive it around some more, I realized that I could not sell the Miata. Uh, it was just something that I was too attached to and it was, something that, it was a sacrifice that I wasn't willing to make at the time. So now, fast forward almost a year ahead uh, to where we are right now today. I just met up with a guy and his friend, and they came to look at the Miata because I listed the Miata again uh, just this past week, this past Monday. He came to look at it, he test drove it, and pretty much the car is sold. We made a deal, and basically the car's still here, but he's going to get the money as soon as he can, and when that comes, uh, I'll, I'll sign over the title, and the car is his, and it's no longer mine. And so I'll be losing my most favorite, precious car, most treasured car I've ever owned. And the funny thing is, it's not even a big deal to me anymore. It's kind of one of those things that I'm not sure if I'm getting older or what, but like my priorities have changed. And this to me, this isn't a sacrifice anymore. It's more just like a thing that I have to do in order for me to get to where I want to go. Got married last year and... Yeah, I guess my priorities really shifted to thinking about my pam my family's future, my family like in the long run, and uh, just for me and my wife, but also for my kids, you know, as we sort of to grow. And uh, yes, yeah, like I was saying, like these things, these sacrifices, they're no longer sacrifices. They're like things I just got to do and just got to get done uh, in order to, you know, benefit my family, my future. So this all connects back to the fact that I'm going to Flatiron School. I'm, I'll be attending Flatiron School online uh, online. And uh, I'll be quitting my job to do that full time, to do the schooling full time. So I need the money. I need the money to make ends meet. And uh, yeah, to me, it was. It will, I, I didn't hesitate to think of this as an option in order for me to quit my job so I could do uh, schooling full time. Because to me, I guess my priorities have changed such that staying at my job and prolonging the, the transition into a web development was a bigger sacrifice than having this Miata, this car. And we're selling some more things to make a little bit more ends meet, but I'm super excited. I'm super excited to start the program. I'll be starting actually January 1st now. And yeah, I'm just gonna be chugging along as quickly as I can through that, and as effectively as I can, building a portfolio and getting a job as soon as I can in the industry. Yeah, that's what I wanna talk about today. Uh, it's kind of different from what uh, I've been talking about in the last few videos, but this is how I am. So I have to think about these things every now and then. So that's what you're going to get every now and then. Anyway, uh, with that being said, I will be trying to release a new video about uh, coding soon, the next couple of days. Actually, Flatiron School is hosting a or like doing a uh, coding drive. I think it's their first annual coding drive where basically um, you can do their free lessons on their website and or if you're like already in the program. Any single lesson completed, or one lesson completed is $1 that they will donate uh, as scholarship money for uh, refugees 
um, who are trying to, I guess, you know, build their skills and take uh, coding classes at a flat iron school. So it's really something I think that's a great cause. And also, I mean, I'm going to be I was going to be doing it anyway. So might as well help out and get money donated uh, to these people in need. who are trying to better their lives and uh, maybe settle life and a future for their own family here in America. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing the probably the intro to Ruby, possibly. Or uh, and that that's kind of like a direct reflection of the boot camp prep course, the regular boot camp prep course, not the advanced one or accelerated one. Um, or I might be doing a totally different thing that's unrelated to my boot camp program that we starting, and that's uh, intro to Swift iOS development. Um, I do want to look into mobile development eventually, but I figured might as well try now maybe. So yeah, I'll be doing that, and I'll be recording it uh, screen recording uh as i go through some of the lessons to kind of give you guys a feel of how the the course works and like how their uh overall kind of like teaching system and their their test driven learning works and like why i love it so much and why i'm so excited to get started so that should be fun um i think that that was gonna be a better way for me to show you guys um kind of how the program is instead of me talking about it because i already kind of went over that uh, in pretty good detail in my last video about why I wanted to go to Flatiron School in the first place. So I, didn't, I was just going to be repeating a lot of the same information. So I'm excited to show you guys that. And yeah, so thanks for listening. Let me know what you guys think about just the idea of priorities versus sacrifice and uh, how your guys' priorities change over the years and what sacrifices you might have had or like viewed as sacrifices before, but that, that are no longer sacrifices to you anymore. So yeah, thanks again for listening and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. See you.